So with the season about to start in a few days time, it's time to go through the predictions for the Grand Slams for the 2024 season, both the men and the women's Grand Slam champions. Now, it's kind of easy to go for the Australian Open. It's only in a couple of weeks time, but we are going to be doing predictions for Wimbledon and the US Open later in the year and of course the French Open. So let's see who we think is going to win the Australian Open to start with. So starting with the WTA predictions, you guys have gone with Igish Fiontek to win the Australian Open. Of course, had a really good end to the 2023 season and is world number one, so not the worst pick. I've gone for Alina Rabakina, who made the final last year and has been really good on hard courts in general and is currently ranked number four in the world, gone up in the rankings over the last 12 months. And I reckon she can just go one better because of the conditions and also the pressure that's going to be on Sabalenka. I reckon that Rabakina can get it, but we'll find out in a few weeks. On the men's side of things, you guys voted for Novak Djokovic, no surprise there. The best Australian Open champion of all time. And I've also gone Novak Djokovic to win the Australian Open. It's so hard not to pick him, especially because the only time that he hasn't won it recently was when he wasn't allowed to play. So got to go with Djokovic at the Australian Open for 2024. Heading over to the French Open now, and you guys for the ladies have voted for Igish Fiontek to win the French Open this year. And I've also gone with Fiontek to win the 2024 French Open. I just think that having won three of the last four and also won the last two, and even in 2023, no one really got close to Sviantec on clay, especially at Roland Garros. So the best clay court player going around, and it makes sense that we both picked her. Heading over to the men's side of things, and you guys also voted for Djokovic for this one, as you did for the Australian Open, because won the French Open in 2023, has won a bunch of these before. But I'm going to go with Carlos Alcaraz for my pick, because I reckon that he learned the lessons pretty quickly from the French Open in 2023, was able to adapt and then beat Djokovic at Wimbledon. And I reckon that if Djokovic does play Alcaraz on clay, that'll be the hardest thing going forward in the new season for Djokovic on the clay courts. I think Elkris will be his hardest opponent. So I'm going to go with Elkris to win the French Open next season. Going over to Wimbledon now. And again, you guys for the ladies have voted for Sviantec. A little bit of a theme here going for Sviantec again at Wimbledon. Now, she didn't do too bad at Wimbledon in 2023, but it will probably be her weakest surface as we've seen her worst results have come on the grass. And I've gone for Ons Jabeur, maybe because I'm a little bit more sentimental about this pick. She has made the final two times in a row. I think she might be third time lucky. And I really hope that she can win a Grand Slam she does deserve the, at least Wimbledon, considering that the last two finals, she's been the favorite and lost both of them. So I'm going to go with Jabir to win Wimbledon 2023. Over to the men's side of things. And again, Novak Djokovic is what you guys picked. And look, he will be the favorite going to every slam this year. So no surprise there. Djokovic is your pick. And I've also gone for Djokovic at Wimbledon. Yes, Alcaraz won Wimbledon last year and it was great. But other than that, Nobody really troubled Djokovic on the grass courts. And I think we can all agree that if Alcaraz hadn't won the second set, Djokovic probably would have won the Wimbledon title in 2023 anyway. So got to go with Djokovic to win Wimbledon because he is the best player at Wimbledon and the most experienced on the grass going into 2024. And then for the US Open, the, probably the hardest one to predict because it's so far away and lots of things can happen over the next nine months. You guys have also gone with Fiontech. So every pick has been with Igish Fiontech for the voting. And look, she is the best player in the world. And also she has a lot of fans that do watch the channel. So it makes sense that she would be picked for every single slam next year. And look, she's probably going to win at least one, right? But I'm going to go with Sabalenka for my pick for the US Open next year. I just think that she got to the final in 2023, and I just feel she is going to get that one extra slam. And I don't know if it's going to be backing it up in Australia. I mean, I was considering picking her for Wimbledon, but I reckon she'll win at the US Open because that's where she'll probably need to get points going into the end of the season because she might lose a lot of points earlier in the season when she went on a really good run. So I'm going to go with Sabalenka to win the US Open in 2024. On the men's side of things, and again, you guys have gone for Djokovic. So Djokovic all across the board for the viewer picks. And look, last year, I think you might have voted for Djokovic or maybe Nadal for the French Open and Djokovic for the rest. And Djokovic did win a lot of slams last year, so it's not the worst idea. But I'm going to go with Yannick Sinner for the US Open next year. I just feel like he's so close to winning a slam. And I think the French Open is going to be dominated probably by Alcaraz. I think the clay is his thing. Djokovic on grass still is better than everybody else. And I think this try and open, Djokovic still reigns supreme. But I think the US Open is just such an open slam in general that it's a great opportunity for Sinner to potentially win his first slam at that event. So there it is. They are the predictions for 2024, both mine and the votes. You guys voted. Of course, some of you might not have voted for those particular players. So let me know down in the comments below. What are your predictions? And we can look back in 12 months time and see who got them right. And we might even do like a bit of a comparison next year and go through the comments next year a little bit more and see if anyone did get them all correct in the 2024 season. But they're my predictions. They're your prediction. We'll see how many we get right in 12 months time.